This report brought to you by the Richmond Club, where investors and high growth companies meet. I'm Galit Solomon for the Richmond Report. Pyrogenesis started out as a plasma-based environmental technology solutions company, mainly catering to the U.S. military. But the company has come a long way since. We had an opportunity to sit down with the company's CEO, Peter Pascali, to learn what they've been up to over the last year and where they plan to go in 2020. Peter, welcome to the Richmond Report. Glad to be back. Let's begin with an overview of the company, about 30 to 45 seconds. What can you tell us about Pyrogenesis? Uh, Pyrogenesis Canada Inc. is a high-tech company uh, listed on the Toronto uh, TSXV on, on the symbol T uh, PYR. And we're a plasma-based company, uh, plasma being the fourth state of matter. It's a heat source, so we use that heat source in some processes. And we have uh, basically three very independent lines of business, environment, um, mining metallurgy, and 3D printing. And what's really interesting about Pyrogenesis is over the past 18 months, we've teamed up with uh, three multi-billion dollar companies. And uh, uh, all our business lines right now are at an inflection point. So it's an interesting point in the time, in the history, in the time, in the company's history to, to pay attention. And our, and our backlog, and backlog we define as signed contracts, has increased from about $7 million this time last year to over $30 million, approximately $30 million wow. at this particular stage. And we look like we're going to add another 13, 14 million dollars in the next several months to that backlog. And that backlog has to run through our balance sheet over the next, mm -hmm. um, next uh, 12 to 18, 24 months max. Most of it through the next 12, 13 months. So very exciting time yeah. in the company's so history. The very, very exciting. 2019, it, sound, it, it sounds like, was a very busy year for you because we did speak with you yes. uh, previously. And now we're getting a bit of an, an update for, from you. Yeah, the 2019 was busy putting all this in place mm -hmm. and bidding on the contracts and winning them. Right. Uh, the larger contract at the end of the year came in the end of the year. So we're going to see that go through the balance sheet over the next few quarters. So 2019 was a very busy year, but the, uh, the benefits of that are going to show up over the next several quarters. And, and that's why it's interesting for investors because it's an inflection mm -hmm. point and the word hasn't gotten out and there you go. That's I'm very pyro. interested in, in this uh, concept of uh, plasma technology. How is it used on a day-to-day -day basis? Oh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, basically, well, plasma, it's not that very mysterious. I mean, uh, we call it plasma. It sounds a little Star Trek-ish mm, to yes. call it the, the fourth state of matter. Uh, you grew up and you learned in science school about three states of matter. Mm -hmm. you know, solids, liquids, gases. Well, you heat up one, it becomes the other. Right. Uh, an ice cube, a solid, becomes water, a liquid, you heat it up, it becomes a gas, steam. Well, if you heat up uh, a gas, uh, it becomes a plasma. Mm. And I think over 95% of the universe is plasma. The sun is a plasma ball, lightning is a plasma, so, so we didn't invent it. Mm -hmm. But what we did was we harnessed it in a torch, and we take the torch and we put it into our processes in a unique way and um, to either destroy garbage, uh, convert uh, garbage to electricity, or to convert wire to small spherical powders. So we basically have, a, I think, one of, if not the largest concentration of plasma expertise under one roof. Mm. So we, we, we are very capable in that particular field. And what we were, were for the first, we've been around for over 25 years. The first portion of our life, we were a pure R&D company, mm. developing applications right. for this, for this plasma-based uh, processes that we had. And effectively, what we've done is we've, as I said, three very independent business lines, all related to plasma. Mm -hmm. They're not, they don't relate to each other. In other words, we don't do this, we don't mix one with the other. Um, and that's also very interesting because when you look at us, we're actually like a mini fund. Mm -hmm. It's a multi-legged stool. If something goes a little slow right. or, 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 or sideways in one business line, the other ones are there to keep up the stool. Right. And, uh, and you know, in any business, sometimes you've got your downs and your ups, but so it basically levels off. That's the, good, uh, the, that's the good side of it. The bad side, if investors really want to look into it, it's a complicated story because it is three different, mm -hmm. different business lines. And, uh, but that's where the value is. If you spend the time and you look at it, uh, it's a very interesting proposal to investors these days. Okay. Can you tell us about uh, some of your clients? So, so, so as I said, we've, we've lined up with multi-billion dollar clients. So in the, in, the, in the environmental sector, we've lined up with the U.S. Navy. Mm -hmm. So we actually are, um, our, our product is in the design of the U.S. aircraft carrier, one of the few uh, foreign technologies on the U.S. aircraft mm -hmm. carrier. Uh, what we do there is we destroy the garbage. Right. 
Uh, we were successful in doing that. We're in the design, as I said, so the design doesn't change. Right. And as people may have heard in the news, well, we've delivered two systems already in, 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 the, in the past several years, and, uh, and the uh, U.S. military is now ordering two aircraft carriers. Mm -hmm. So that order has gone out last beginning of last year. They, they've ordered all the lead items. And so our, our turn is up now, and, and as we've press released, right. we expect to have a, an order for two aircraft carriers, um, our waste destruction system on board the two new aircraft carriers uh, sometime over the next few months at, at an estimated price of between 13 and 14 million dollars. Oh, wow. That's great. Okay. Yeah. You know, one of the questions that investors uh, ask, there are actually two that uh, that are frequently asked. One of them being, uh, why why should I be investing right now? Because timing is is really significant and important. So why would you say now is the time to invest? Well, I think the news is out that basically we've increased our, our, our backlog significantly. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Sometimes you can be a victim of your, of, 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 of your success and that it's taking time for that to, 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 to filter down to the investors and understand what that means. Mm -hmm. So that will obviously come out in the first quarter, second quarter, you know, et cetera. And so now is a very good time because um, uh, the marketplace hasn't really understood it. Uh, they, we had the tax loss selling at the end of the year, so our stock is at a fairly good price relative to when we came out with the news. Right. We came out with the news and the stock was around 55, 60 cents, mm -hmm. and it's dropped to about 40 cents from the tax loss selling and whatnot. Uh, so now's a pretty good time, if for if no other reason. The other reason is, uh, I just mentioned one group, uh, U.S. Navy. Um, the other one is uh, Oberyn Deval in our 3D printing, a multi-billion dollar entity in our 3D printing business line where we produce powders the ink for 3D mm -hmm. printers. Right. Uh, we have uh, we inked last January a, uh, a mutually exclusive arrangement with them, where they will sell our powder and w exclusively, and we will provide them exclusively powder to sell within the uh, atom manufacturing industry in Europe. Right. right. And the third business line is uh, our mining and metallurgy, and the one that's kicking off right now is our dross right offering, where we recover uh, valuable metal from a waste stream. And our technology just was the winning, uh, the winning bidder in one of the largest uh, contracts to go out for bid in the world. Uh, lots of competition there. It was um, a sophisticated uh, uh, end user who chose our technology, uh, and it, the contract's for around $20 million. Wow. What I'm trying to point out to is, from an investor's perspective, mm -hmm. each of our business lines, each of our technologies, which are now commercial, has been vetted by a significant player in the industry. Right. So you have to do your own due diligence, but you can rest assured that if you, if you, if you take the time, you know, it, sh it should come out, you, you, the due diligence should come out well because multi-billion dollar companies have put their name behind it and have bought the technology and are using it right. in each of our business lines. And this is only recent news, so that's where investors have an advantage. I mm. mean, and, and, and to get, to take, can take comfort from the fact, as I said, it's a multi-legged stool and multi-billion dollar companies are backing each of our business lines. Right. The other question yeah. uh, that investors often have on their mind is, well, wh who's the person who's running this company, heading it up? What can you tell us about yourself? I just got out of print. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 uh, no, 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 no. My background, I, mean, I used to be an investment banker. Uh, that's where I, uh, I grew up. I grew up in New York City and Wall Street doing mm -hmm. mergers and acquisitions for the Fortune 500. And when that started to slow down, I came upon an opportunity, a very small company in Montreal, uh, three or four people that was doing this thing called Plasma in its, very, in its infancy. And I, I kind of liked what they were doing because, as I said, as an investment banker, I looked at it and I said, look, this, this can do, a t if, it, if it succeeds, can do a ton of things. Right. So I liked the, uh, the aspect. I liked the, um, the fact that it could be a multi-legged stool. You could do a lot of different things with mm -hmm. it. Uh, one thing could go, as I said, sideways, and you still have everything else to lean sure. on. Uh, one of the challenges in the company is, is, is deciding what you're going to pursue and what you're going to just leave behind for another day. Right. You know, stick to our knitting. Uh, some people may actually say, uh, you know, you're doing environment, you're doing mining metallurgy, you're doing, you know, what are you really doing? And to them, the response is simply this, we're doing plasma. If we were selling cars, uh, sorry, tires, we'd sell them to cars, to buses, to bikes, mm -hmm. you know, right. but we wouldn't get involved in upholstery or braking systems. Sure, yeah. we're, we're So we're a plasma company. When you peel back the onion, the uh, onion peels the onion, you'll see we're just a plasma company. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, to answer your question, uh, uh, I can't forgot what the question was. <laughs> oh, what do I do? Yourself, I'm an investment yeah. banker. So <laughs> I, I, what I did was when things were getting, getting a little slow on Wall Street, 
uh, what I decided to do was, uh, at the same time just happened, I came upon this opportunity with this right. company, and I just fell in love with it. Yeah. And the, the, the rest is history. We grew it from a, a four-person company to a, um, uh, I think we're about 75 people now and growing. Uh, we were private back then. We're public now. Right. Uh, yeah. I think it's also, it, it, so we're an engineering-based company, but you have a finance guy running it. Mm -hmm. So it's a different flavor in, in terms of, uh, sure. of, of how the management is. Sure. But, uh, yeah. Things are going well. Looking ahead to 2020, uh, what can we expect? Well, you know, it's very, it's very difficult with all the, uh, uh, the, the regulations to actually speculate, you know. Uh, right. But, but I think you can, you know, if you look back at our, our previous revenues of five to seven million dollars, mm -hmm. and we're sitting on a backlog of uh, 30 going to 45, you can assume that there's going to be good things happening. Right. You know, right. we, 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 they, the we, we, met, we meet all our minimum m margins, and we're, we're doing well there in terms of uh, uh, profits on the projects. Uh, in the past, we didn't have enough projects to be overall profitable. Mm. But that may change over the near future. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, exciting things coming down the pipeline for sure. Most certainly. It seems. Most certainly. Very good, Peter. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you for uh, joining us on the ride. Yeah. Our pleasure. <laughs> to learn more about Pyrogenesis, head to our website www.richmondclub.com. And for more information about high-growth companies, be sure to follow us on YouTube. For the Richmond Report, I'm Galit Solomon. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know. You've been watching the Richmond Club Report. If you've just come across this channel, please feel free to like and subscribe. I'm sure you'll find a lot of interesting and lucrative investment and trading ideas around here. We'll see you again soon on the next video. Cheers, guys. Have an amazing and profitable day.